You better make me a grilled sandwich, and it better be good, because I'm fucking hungry. CJ and DJ, thank you for becoming a patron. You are what keeps the dream alive. All right, let's get into it. You know, every time I think about this game, I always scream out to the heavens. Where is 1032? For those of you that are unaware of what 1032 is, it's like the next massive update for Ground Branch. This one adds animations, prone, multiple new maps, weapons, and cosmetics. And I believe it's also gonna add a plethora of game modes too, both co-op and multiplayer. Like it's a big banger of an update, but oh damn it, the team is so fucking small, so they're taking forever. So I guess we're gonna have to settle with this little update here. <sighs> What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about Ground Branch because they just released an update the other day. This one is called Intel Update Number 8 Reinforcements. I wonder what that can mean. It starts off with saying, as underscored by last month's publisher announcement, development for upcoming release version 1032 is still chugging along. And as we work on putting the game back together with the new character rig, assets, and animations, another Intel update is coming up for you with everything that's happening behind the scenes. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, 1032, they're basically redoing freaking everything and that's like ridiculously hard for a tiny team like this to do but at least this time around they're getting a lot of help from uh, micro pros so hopefully they hire more people to help with that process but um yeah looks like they're about to explain what reinforcements means it says uh reinforcements are here it is no secret that the development of ground branch has been rocky and in many ways too ambitious for its own good nevertheless it has endured and thanks in no small part to our community's continued trust and support we have finally reached a point where we can can more comfortably go after professionals that can help us stay on track and take this project where it needs to be. Um, next we got Tech Backup. One such example is Bad Rhino Studios. This is the first I'm hearing of them. According to their website, it says that they specialize in all aspects of video game development, from concept design to full production to post-release services. Interesting. I've never heard of these guys before, but it continues on to say, an independent studio from Kansas City that we just partnered with as a means to get more eyes and hands on the games, overall performance, code, online networking, netcode, and general implementation. As we progress, the studio will also be helping us fix major lingering issues and improve other areas of development. So this is their studio logo here. It's interesting because I've never heard of these guys before, but apparently they're pretty big news. So yeah. The fine developers at Bad Rhino have previously lent their expertise to the likes of Epic Games, meaning Unreal Engine and Fortnite, Bohemia Interactive, the developers of the Armist series and DayZ Standalone, and even Facebook. So so they are more capable of helping us to take ground branch to the next level from a more technical standpoint and yeah looking at this uh picture here of all the people that they've partnered with the only ones that i really know are cartoon network facebook epic games but they have quite the portfolio here so that's interesting it goes without saying that we're very excited for this partnership's future and we'll hopefully be seeing its repercussions soon enough for anyone interested you can learn about bad rhino studios and what their website is right here okay cool i mean it's good to have you know ground branch obviously get some help here because they uh you know they need it like they're a tiny team and any help would be great for them so i was kind of glad that they got the backing of micro pros in the last video that we talked about so that's neat continuing on to the next thing here we got art backup we have also dedicated vegetation artist paul bro bros bros i'm not sure if that's how you say that but looking at his artisan account wow look at all that foliage look at all that holy cow sheesh anyways so they brought this guy on board in a contractor capacity for starters mr browse will be building assets for four different biomes i.e trees bushes and ground cover these are going to take place in eastern europe horn of africa middle east and u.s mexico border are these like four new maps they just mentioned interesting and then they have a picture here that's like a sample which i'm assuming this is ground branch right just a sample of paul's ue4 work okay so i think this is just like something that he did like offhand i don't think this is ground branch but it looks pretty good kind of reminds me of um the forest that i've seen in fallout but yeah in addition to granting environments an extra layer of authenticity these new custom biomes will generally make maps look better and more consistent if we're lucky they might improve the performance too oh my god yeah like you don't even know like when they added in a bunch of trees to um uh, i forgot the name of the map but it was the 
one that I really dislike because it's so big and there's a bunch of trees around. Like it just lags the hell out of my goddamn game. And also because there's no pro and it's very hard, you know, for someone to see another person, but they generally see you. So uh, yeah, pretty neat. Hopefully they can make it so that these things aren't, you know, heavily taxing on my freaking GPU or CPU. So uh, yeah, further backup. We are also looking for a dedicated VFX artist and a producer project manager type. In addition to a few other roles, we may disclose later. At this time, we're only considering close recommendations, but we'll be sure to let everyone know if we end up expanding our search. I mean, with the funding that they're getting from Micropros, I feel like they're going to, right? I mean, that would make sense. Just curious, do they still have... I honestly forgot his name. <laughs> uh, he's the guy that's always been doing the sound for Ground Branch. Mixon? Mixon? Mixon. Yeah, Mixon, yeah. Okay, so he's still on the team. So they're just gonna give him another, you know, another helping hand, I suppose. Who's Mike? Now, every time I come back into the Discord, I always see, like, a bunch of new people. I'm like, wait, who are these? Who are these guys? Well, that's good to see, I suppose. But anyways, other areas of assistance. GPU manufacturers. In order to improve performance in the future, we have submitted Ground Branch's build to NVIDIA and AMD for profiling. Oh, really? Cool. This may lead to potential assistance optimizing the game. That would be great. As well as GPU driver enhancements for better compatibility with it. Mmm, yeah. Optimization would make this game hella better. Hopefully this actually helps them. Up next is localization. Our new publishing partner, Microprose, has been helping us localize, that is, translate, the content of our Steam store page to several languages so that non-English speakers can make better informed purchases and potentially have a minor positive impact on the player base. It's always good to be bilingual, I suppose. Localization of the game itself will begin as soon as we have a large enough portion of the UI locked down. Ooh. So that seems to be it for the news part of this update. Now we're going to be looking into some sneak peeks of version 1032. Now here's what you're actually here for. Taking a look at how 1032 is coming along and getting eyes on somewhat sweet sneak peeks. We get it. We got you covered. Sounds like a freaking gang boss in an alleyway or something. Here's some media. Started with some quick audio and animation previews. Oh boy. So the first one that we're going to be taking a look at is... Work in progress version 1032 audio preview stanag versus pmag reloads and at the beginning of the video it starts out with saying metal versus polymer so that's a stanag stant metal and that's a pmag okay cool oh and they're also labeling these too so this is a retention reload This is a no retention reload, okay. This is a retention reload plus bolt release. Oh, okay, cool. In addition to these new reloads, our animator Mike has also put together this satisfying recoil animation that adds a lot more immersion to shooting. Okay, let's take a look at that. This one is called Recoil Demo. Look at that little mini recoil there. Yo, did you see that? The way he like puts his weapon down, it looks so sweet. And like it had it at like the, the ready up position for the next part right there. And then he like puts it at the aiming position. Yo, that looks sick. Oh, give me those animations though, bro. Oh man, these animations are coming along so freaking well. Can't wait, I want it. Give it to me! I want it! 1032, give it to me! Underneath the video it says, Notice the more natural bounce to the recoil compared to the basic back and forth motion currently in the game. Stances are a work in progress and subject to change. Okay, cool. On the modeling front, trusty contractor and 3D artist extraordinaire, Paul Pinavir, sorry for butchering your name, I'm sorry, continues to bang out amazing models to get our character art up to date and make sure we don't have brand new assets mixed up with the really old ones. Below are some of Paul's latest creations the new helmet AF. This honestly reminds me of the one that I saw in Escape from Tarkov, but it looks like the, the level one helmet. Underneath it shows, here's the one with the camel cover. Patterns are pending, but they will be there. Four new types of footwear. Look at all those. Hoo wee. Gorgeous looking. I'm assuming this is the one that was in the pile right there. And then here's like the front. Oh my God. Look at how good that looks. Like, holy shit, bro. Ooh, wait, that thing flips down? Yo, awesome. These are combat boots. New NVG arm mount on helmet shroud. Detail of 
the new MVGs are out. Cool. Underneath it, it says, keep in mind that all these previews are already of the game ready models. Yep, no joke. They're generated from rendering tools that have lighting capabilities far beyond UE4's real-time lighting. You know, we like being transparent. So here's what we really mean by that. They will not look necessarily this amazing in game. I mean, I figured as much, but they will still look pretty good and certainly better than the assets they will be replacing. Can't wait. I cannot wait. But moving on to the next thing here we got in the level design department, Will has been putting some work on the night lighting and skybox for the entire compound map. I mean, it's really hard to see, but yeah, this is definitely a map where Osama was hiding. Pretty looking. In case you missed it, here's a bunch of previews from the upcoming compound, Microprose Ground Branch product page, yeah, which we already saw this in the previous video, so we're not gonna look at that. And at the very end here it says, and that's that for today's Intel update. We know waiting for 1032 sucks, but hopefully this helps ease the wait a little and reassures everyone that we're still here working hard and expanding the team so that we're able to improve Ground Branch's experience at a faster pace. We'll have more details and previews for you in a few weeks, so stay tuned and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on today's intel. Well, I'm satisfied. I mean, compare this one to the freaking Ready or Not update and I'm just like, damn, this is a hell of a lot better. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man, just give it to me, god damn it. <laughs> Oh man. So what are your guys' thoughts on this update? What'd you guys think? Let me know. I definitely can't wait for this. Like, I mean, I haven't been playing a whole lot of Ground Brass because I'm just waiting for this freaking update right here, man. Like, I played a whole lot of Ground Brass that I'm kind of just like... <sighs> I want that new stuff. It looks so goddamn enticing. But I mean, if you guys want to see more Ground Branch content, then let me know. I have a lot of people that definitely want to play. I just haven't really had time to get around to it. But I mean, if there's more demand for it, then I'll put it in my schedule for sure. But yeah, definitely had a fun read with this. So I think that's where I'm going to end this video. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Ground Branch, then be sure to like the video, share the video, comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. I cover a lot of tactical games and games that I might be, uh, you know, different for games that I might get into in the future. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.